like I said, I, me and my dad had that thing in New Mexico and we're always going back and forth and if it's not us, it's someone else pulling the trailer up or something, or someone going back. So after the pandemic hit, I'd get all these texts all the time like, hey, I was driving through Eden, saw your name on the marquee at this place, it was crazy. I was like, I had to double, I had to drive back and take a picture with it or whatever. And uh, we got it rescheduled and it came around and uh, there was a point, which I'm not, not to be put down, but uh, there was a point this year where one of my good friends, one of my best friends, uh, passed away. And I was sitting on my porch in Austin when I was still living there. It was probably about a year and, a year and change, something like that. And uh, I'm sitting on the porch, and I haven't written a song in a few months. And I'm kind of sitting there, again, in a rut. I'm sitting there and looking around at the street. No one was really out, so everyone was kind of locked down there. And, um, my neighbor Carol was out there picking tomatoes or something. I was kind of just, you know, taking it all in. And I started working on the song, and every now and then you get a good one that just kind of comes to you quick. You don't have to have too many headaches. And I got to the very end of it in about, you know, a short span of time, and I needed something that rhymed with deceiving. Because <laughs> that's, that's a good cheater trick for country songwriters. You just put an apostrophe on the end, drop the G, and you can rhyme a lot more stuff with that. <laughs> I was like, what rhymes with deceiving? Like, I'm going to do this. I was kind of like, whatever, you know, I was about to walk away from it. I went inside, got a beer, went to the bathroom. I was about to go outside, my phone buzzed, and my brother-in-law, Trey, texted me, and it was another thing. He said, hey, I just drove through Eden. I noticed the last couple times, and I don't know it was there, but your name's it's still up on the thing in Eden. And I kind of looked up, you know, it's like, <laughs> Eden, all right. <laughs> all right. I owe y'all a lot. I owe you for this one. So this is one of my favorite songs I've ever written. And I, I got to, I got to play it for my buddy before he uh, passed on, and it was a real special thing for me. And fortunately, the way it ends, uh, this is definitely my end of the set song for the rest of ever. So uh, here you go. This goes out to all y'all fine folks in Eden, Texas. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's called Peace, Peace This Eve. Mm. Thank you. 